All right, so I have it plugged in and it's now asking us to go through the setup. So what I'm gonna do is press and hold the select button. I'm gonna do the media remote first. So I'm gonna press and hold that. And it brought me right into what language I'm using. And yes, I do have an Android phone, thank you very much. One thing to make sure of if you're using the automatic setup, make sure that your Nvidia Shield and whatever device you're using is on the same Wi-Fi network. I have two 5G networks and a 2.4 gigahertz network and they were on different uh, 5G networks so I couldn't get them set up until I got them on the same network so keep that in mind. This is nice, it gives you an overview of how to use the controller. And it also told me it downloaded the Shield Experience Upgrade 5.0.1 and it's asking me to restart to install, so I'm gonna select that. So I still only have my controller set up, but it's telling me there's an update, so I'm gonna update it right now. And the reason these do update is because they get better with you know battery life or connectivity or have it be the motion controls in these or whatever it may be, or maybe they add a new functionality built into one of the buttons. So it's really nice that they continually update the console, but also the accessories that go along with the console. All right, and it brings you right into the interface, but before we get rolling through that, let's go back into the Shield accessories and add my gaming controller at this point. So in the beginning, as you saw, I only connected the media remote, but also it, without even me turning it on, it also connected my uh, gaming controller and it's telling me there's an update available. So I'm gonna click on that and do the update for that as well. It's telling me I'm currently on a 0.58 firm, firmware and there's a 1.0 firmware. I can also swap the start and home buttons and change that stuff as well. So let me update the firmware on this as well. Perfect, that is now updated as well. So let's go back in here and I'll show you the interface. It's exactly the same as the last version, which is nice. I like it, it's the basic uh, Google interface uh, with a few spiced up add-on apps. So you can see at the top you can search to speak or you can search and type, which is great because sometimes it can't understand you or you're saying a word that is just too hard for it to understand, so perfect. To speak into the remote, all you do is click the little microphone button, which is actually the biggest button on here. Greggles TV. So it'll search everything for Greggles TV, have it be wherever I have, if it was in an app or anywhere else. So I'm only on YouTube, so it's only gonna show me things on YouTube. This top bar here is gonna be everything that it thinks you might be interested in or that's trending. So it's gonna show you all kinds of stuff. And the more apps you have installed, the more things it's gonna show you as well that would fit up here that you might be interested in. If you go down a row, this is gonna be all your apps. Have it be you know Netflix, Kodi, whatever it may be. And uh, it does come with Amazon Video as does the last version. So awesome, this is one of the big apps that was missing from Google or Android TV, whatever you wanna call it. And it is now here, which is perfect. It's a much needed app that most people want because you know a lot of people do watch those Amazon uh, streaming videos as well. So let's go into the store right here. And it's very easy to come in here and download an app. Let's go to Sling for instance. All you do is select it, hit install and accept. And it starts downloading very quickly, very easily and it'll automatically install as well, and it'll end up showing on your home screen. I'll show you after it's done installing. So I can get out of that, and you can see that it's still installing, and it actually installed at this point. So what I'm gonna do is hit my home button on my controller, and you can see if I go all the way over to the right here, Sling TV is now on here, and you can keep going back in here and getting all the apps you want. I want Cody, and I don't see Cody on here, so I'm gonna just search for it. Cody. And I'm gonna open that app up, install, and it is now downloading. So it really has any app that you can think of. You can look through this and look at all the TV apps that you want, that it might that you might want. I need Hulu, because I have a Hulu subscription. Um, and this is just like the top stuff that you could get. There's more than this, so no concerns with that. I know my wife likes Vicky. It's like Korean TV stuff. And you can also search like you did, like I did earlier. You can do Cody. You can also look at um, 
uh, games in here. You can see they have a whole game section. This is just going to be the Android game section. So stuff that you could probably play on your phone uh, is on here as well. All kinds of games, really good games. This is a great game, the Riptide. Oh, before we get too much into the games, let's check out uh, the available storage on here. So just go into settings and then go into storage and reset. And you can see I got 11 gigabytes of total space left on here. You can also um, click on use USB and it says accessing shield folders on PC using USB. USB U port one is now configured for shield to connect to a PC as a media device. This port will no longer detect USB storage media or USB accessories and cannot be used for uh, charging devices. So if you want to turn in that first USB port to uh, access folders on your PC, you can do it that way. You can also do it uh, via the network as well if you want, but it's cool to be able to have that option. Um, also, you can just plug in a, a USB port in the back and turn that into internal storage as well on here because obviously 16 gigabytes is not a lot of storage for you to store things on your device. Let's look at some of the stuff they get in here. So you get screen servers, you can change that from backdrop to turn the screen off to just different colors. Backdrop is going to be different um, uh, like pictures and things that they put on there. You can also use this as a Google Cast. So if you want to use uh, Google Cast to Google Cast from your your iPhone, your Android, your computer, whatever it may be, you can do that with this as well. That's how uh, many options this console gives you. Under about, this is where you're going to check out for your system upgrades. And I'll, let me try that right now to see if there's an update. And it says it's up to date, so there's no update for that. You can restart it, power it off, check out the status, legal info. You can see I'm on Android 7.0, which is Nougat. You can mess with the home screen. So if you don't like the recommendation row, you can completely turn off all those apps so that nothing shows in there or only a few apps show up there if it's getting if it bothers you. The apps and game rows, you can uh, sort them automatically by recent usage, which is what I like to do. That way um, I don't have to you know, change them around too much. It's going to be in the order that I last used them. If you go into search, uh, for Americans, you probably want to change the temperature unit over to Fahrenheit because that's what we use. Uh, you can turn on a safe search filter if you want. You can make your searchable apps. You can turn some of these on or off if you don't want it to search uh, certain things. I'm going to turn all of these on. Speech allows you to block offensive words, which I don't want it to. Speech output, that's good. I'll leave that on. Accessibility, you can turn on high contrast text. Talk back, switch access, text to speech. You can also add different Bluetooth accessories like headphones or keyboards, mice, whatever it may be. You can add that kind of stuff here. You can turn on and off location services, security and restrictions. This is good if you're going to be wanting to uh, sideload apps. You'll want to come in here and turn unknown sources to on. Usage and diagnostics. This is going to allow you to share your diagnostics with Android TV if you want. I have mine off. Uh, you can go into apps and you can see all the apps that you have downloaded or system apps you have running. If something's bugging you, you can come in here and uh, check it out, clear the cache, do whatever you want, force stop it. When you go into system, you can set LED brightness to high or uh, one of these other ones. Or you can also do processor mode. You can turn it down to optimize or max. I have Obviously, it's set to max. I don't know why you wouldn't want it to be on max. Display and sound. You can change the resolution. Mine says 1080p because I'm using a capture device right now. So that's why it says 1080p. Otherwise, it would say 4K. Power control is really nice. So it means it's going to turn on your console if you hit a button on your uh, remote or your gaming controller without you having to press the power button on the Nvidia Shield. Volume control, you can set it up with CEC as well or an IR blaster. You can turn on and off system sounds and then under advanced settings, you can change all kinds of stuff. You can change the color space, uh, USB quality mode. You can adjust the overscan if your TV just isn't fitting correctly. So I'm not gonna mess with this right now. You can do five HDMI 5.1 audio if you have it, fixed volume. It really gives you tons of different options on here. So heading back to the home screen, if you wanna delete one of these apps, all you gotta do is press and hold on the app, 
with the select button and then press down and hit uninstall. Very easy, very quick. If you want to move these apps around, all you do is press and hold the select button and then move left to right. When you're done, you hit select again and then press done at the bottom. You also have a game section, so you get your NVIDIA game section. So obviously this is an NVIDIA console, so you can do lots of cool things on here. So you can go to my library and it's going to show you any games that you own. It's also going to set up GameStream. GameStream is going to allow you to play your favorite PC games around your house on the go. So if you have a powerful uh, gaming PC, you can do that from there and stream it right to your NVIDIA Shield TV. And then all you do is just look for the game stream PCs and it'll show you the games and you can play it. It's very easy to set up and very easy to do. GE Force Now is their game streaming service and there's a couple of options here. You can buy the games on some of them. So you can see you can buy No More Man's Sky and own it for $59.99. And it'll stream if you look in the top left to 1080p, 60 frames per second. It's a one player game and uh, you must be a member to buy this game. It includes a Steam digital key for PC download. So after you buy it, you can also play it on your PC uh, natively if you want. So that's really cool. And uh, one of the other cool things is they also have like a Netflix type of subscription where you would actually stream the games, but play pay a small fee. Like for instance, Just Cause, you can join this and I'll show you. It's gonna be first month free and then it's $7.99 per month. And they have lots of games. I think they have over a hundred games that you can play with this service. Uh, you can also look into right here. You can play Tomb Raider Anniversary on there. It's free for members if you have a uh, subscription. So some of the games are free. The Witcher 3, you can play this in up to 1080p, 60 frames per second on your NVIDIA Shield TV streaming. It doesn't even live on your console. It's streaming from the cloud and it works really well. I've done some videos in the past. And then also, if you look on the left-hand side, it's gonna break it down by even more categories. You can see new on Android. These are some showcase games, staff favorites. There's all kinds of stuff like Resident Evil 5 is, in, is it for, for Android anyway, it's gonna be only able to be played on the NVIDIA Shield TV, so it's customized, optimized for this console. They also have some multiplayer online games that you can play as well, that are like Android games. And that is pretty much it, guys. This is a badass console. If you do not have one of these, I'm telling you, you have to get one. Everyone that uses it loves it, it's fast. It does so much, it's very powerful. If you have a 4K TV, it's a complete no-brainer because it's the best 4K media box that you can buy today. Guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe at new, new videos every single day. I will see you down the road. Peace.